What's up guys? Today, we're gonna show you how to get out on the river and catch a lot of smallmouth really quick, cheap, and simple. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This is Stephen Clark from the Outdoor Drive Podcast, and I wanna walk you through a little bit of a really simple first-timer river fishing for smallmouth. When I first moved to Virginia and wanted to get on some bass, I reached out to an old timer, someone who's been fishing for a while, and uh, he showed me a, a very simple secret that has led me to catch a lot of fish. Let me make it clear real quick, I am no master fisherman. Uh, that's why I had to go get some help. I didn't know what I was doing. I was buying fancy lures, losing money, getting shit caught in trees. And he said, no, look, son, you're doing it the wrong way. All you need is this. And with that setup, sky's the limit. You can catch a lot of fish. So it's a great little tool. You can use it anywhere through any kind of water. Uh, there are variants of it everywhere. You can walk into any store and probably find jig heads and plastic minnows. Uh, just, you can't go wrong. It's about as simple as it can be. You don't need any fancy anything. Just a $10 Walmart pole and a couple of these. Tie them on. You're ready to fish. And... It's a good way to go out and just get a lot, have a good time, enjoy the bite, and uh, go on about your day. Here's what I'm talking about. You got the four inch, you got the three inch, you got the three eighths, and you got the quarter ounce. So when you hook these things up, it's very simple. Straight through, run it down the shaft, make sure the hook's coming out centered in the back, like so. And just slide it up the shaft, and there's your setup. I'm using my really fancy version of a hook and a line for demonstration purposes. I'm going to show you how I like to tie my line for this particular rig. Easy to remember. Take your tag line, run it through, bring your tag line back through. Make sure you've got a lot of loop on the end. You're gonna come back over in an overhand knot. So, basic overhand knot. You're gonna take that loop in, go around the hook. Make sure it comes up and clears. One piece of advice is wet the line, whether you dip it in the water or however you want to go about it. That way you don't burn the line. That'll keep it from breaking should you hook up to something nice. And you just pull it tight. All right, so once you get your line tight, that's what it should look like. You won't be able to tell, but that's what your knot does. It brings it around. It's solid. Cut your tag line, and you're ready to go. About this setup you never know where the fish are gonna hit this one literally came right out from under me and popped him as I was pulling up they're not always gonna be the biggest fish but a lot of fish it's a lot of fun Like I said, you can fish this from pretty much anywhere in the water.
wife pulls up what we thought was going to be the fish of the day. That's a $15 Dockmaster Walmart pole with a pound test. We haven't fished in about two years and uh, it was a pretty good hookup for her. So it's always good to get the family back into it. But the funnest thing is, you never know what you're going to hook onto with this. And you may get a pretty good surprise when it starts yanking you down the water. This was far from the right kind of tackle for that kind of fish, but it's a good time. He ended up hooking up, drug me down the river for enough, about 100 yards, and uh, just as we brought him in, you know how catfish are, you get them to the water and that's where they put their weight on, so he snapped the hook. So at this point, might as well celebrate, have some fun on the water. never a better time than to sit and toast the outdoors be thankful for the time you have with good family and friends. Alright, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you're able to take it out, put it into practice, take the family, get out of the house, and just go get on the water. Whether you want to sit on the bank or wade fish, or if you got a kayak or a boat, go out and just flip these things, work them. I promise you will have some luck on them. It's an incredible, simple setup. It's cheap, it's easy to do, and it works. Uh, I hope what we showed you get you motivated to go out and try it. 
let us know what you have questions about and maybe we'll cut a video and walk through some of that uh, we're going to have a lot more coming through the summer around fishing as well as early season deer hunting prep so stay tuned one thing i would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the video that helps us that's going to help us keep growing so hit that up let your friends know and thanks for taking the ride right here on the outdoor drive